hard, but they look like this. This man teaches that you'll learn a lot quicker and play a lot better if you'll only try less. The idea is to just let the body do what it's capable of doing. But that's hard, because your mind is always there saying, I want to do better, I want to do better, I want to get this ball over. And finally, I'll have some reflections on the inner game of tennis. Let's say you're trying to learn a new skill. First, you'll probably memorize a complicated set of instructions. Next, you'll command your body to obey them. And then you will condemn yourself when your body fails to respond as quickly as you want. It's usually a long, frustrating process. In Los Angeles, there's a tennis pro named Timothy Galway who claims he has a better way. He calls his system the inner game. Recently, we invited Galway to demonstrate by showing how quickly he could teach tennis to a class of absolute beginners. Some of the pupils were openly skeptical at the start. Among these was a somewhat sedentary middle-aged lady named Molly Groger. Help! I need somebody! Help! Not just anybody! Help! You know I need someone! Help! I haven't done anything physical in like 20 years. I could just picture myself as like just chasing balls all the time, you know, never hitting it, just chasing it. And I'd heard about the inner game, but I really didn't think it would work with me. As a matter of fact, I had called yesterday to cancel it because I thought it'd be hopeless, but I was talked into coming. If we'd have been learning how to walk the way we learn how to play sports, our dad would have been there saying, okay, now, Tommy, first you put your left foot out and you, you put your weight in the heel of your foot, then you sort of shift on over to, no, no, don't shift so early, shift about now. After you've taken this forward past your right foot, then you shift over and you put your weight in your left foot, you understand? But this isn't how it went. Uh, instead, uh, little Tommy sits and he, he just notices his father walking. He just sees him. He's not even studying it. He just starts doing it. And he falls over. And after he falls over, he doesn't say, oh, darn it, I'm doing so badly, I'll never learn how to walk. I'm, you know, I always fall to the right. How come I'm falling to the right? He gets up, he falls the other way. And this isn't just trial and error. This is trial and correction. Trial and correction. But the correction is self-correction. No one's there telling him from outside how to do it. He learns from his own experience. And he learns very rapidly. Now, the idea of the inner game is to learn to play tennis in the same way. To learn to play without always trying to consciously control your actions. I'm going to have Tim hit some balls to me. And as the ball flies through the air, I want you just to watch it. And the very instant the ball hits the court, I want you to say bounce. And the very instant the ball hits the racket, I want you to say hit. So you just be saying bounce. Hit. All you need to do is watch the ball, okay? Bounce. Yeah. The key of all the exercises in the inner game is to focus the mind's attention somewhere where it will not interfere with the body's ability to hit the ball okay, automatically. Ball. You stand here and Tim will throw you a couple and you just continue doing the same thing. Should I try to hit it? Not at first. At first just say bounce when the ball bounces and hit when you would hit it. But don't hit it. Then after you feel like hitting it, go ahead and hit it. Okay. Bounce, hit. Bounce, hit. Bounce, hit. Bounce, hit. Okay. When a player is first learning the game of tennis, and when he says bounce, he's also out of the corner of his eye watching me hit the ball. So even though he's not trying to see how I hit it, the image of me hitting it is going right into his memory. You enjoying yourself? Yeah, it's really fun. You like that? Okay, here we go. I love it. The cardinal principle in any book written on tennis, about yeah. tennis, is to watch the ball. No tennis player really sees the ball enough. And the reason is they get bored. So I try to uh, give them something to see in the ball that's interesting. So we watch the trajectory of the ball, the, the gracefulness of the line made by the ball as it flies through the air. Always it's the same. Put the mind somewhere where it can stay calm and not get you up tight, but relaxed and interested. Then the body does so beautifully, so beautifully. You might start listening to the ball, Molly. Listen to how it sounds on your racket. 
Hear that? Yes. Hear that one? I what did that, that sound like? <laughs> Very dull. It was like wood. That wood sound. Keep listening and you'll, you'll hear the sound that you like pretty soon. Just listen to it. Okay, now listen on this side. Now the girl. Okay. Now be aware that racket is part of your arm. That's it. Just feel it. Don't try so hard. And let it happen. That's it. Do what's comfortable, Molly. Every time I did start to think, things went wrong. When you just stop thinking, the, the body seems to know what to do. Can you feel with your left hand where it is? How'd it go? Just wait in the back there. Feel it. Okay. Now, I'll tell you what, Molly. We're going to do one other stroke now. And this one's called the serve. And the serve is just like a dance. You just like a dance. We'll come back here and I'll, sh I'll show you how to do a dance called the serve. Okay? And uh, I've done this dance a little bit. So I'll just do it. Okay. Ta -da. Ta -da. In fact, you can start humming if you want. Okay. The rhythm like this. Watch this. Da da da. Da da da. Out loud. Da da da. Okay. Now, here's what you do. I want you to stand there. Shut your eyes. Shut your eyes. And imagine yourself doing that same dance. You might start humming a little bit. Da da. As you're doing it. Yeah. Okay, now what I want you to do is no thinking, just go do it, quick. Just no thinking, just go serve, yeah. Serve, what? fine, don't worry about missing. Keep serving, keep, I don't think. Go do, 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 quick, that's it. Down. Fine, again, don't worry about hitting it. Down. Out loud, let's hear it. Out loud, the rhythm. Down. There you go. I get them to hum the rhythm of my serve. So they're not thinking, oh, this is what he's doing with his okay. elbow, this is what he's doing with his hands. They're not trying to remember all that. They start humming. And they see themselves doing very similar things, muscular movements, to what I did. But they're not thinking about it. So it just comes out naturally and fluidly. Well, that didn't take long. That's called serving. Out. Out. <laughs> Don't miss it. Yeah. Come, 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 come. Okay? Okay, that's your first point in tennis. Scores 15 love. Fantastic. Beautiful. Okay, Molly. No need for you to miss. All of a sudden, everything became effortless. Just, I was just sort of like floating along, you know, and doing what came naturally, you know. And I said, ah, I'm playing tennis. You know, it's really, really beautiful. Have a clear idea of what you want. Then let it happen. Don't try too hard. I'm going to try to make you miss, Molly, because it's going on too long. So I'll just get a little bit harder. You just keep watching the ball. Keep watching it. They're rooting for you, Mom. Don't be distracted. Keep on that ball. Oh, it's hey! Mom, that's fine. That's called tennis. threshold of opening another world and discovering the possibilities of the human mind. Everything is possible to you who truly believe.
It may be that everything is possible to those who truly believe, but I worry about that otherworldly voice that we heard a minute ago. I don't think that's what Mr. Galway means by the inner game. And secondly, enough bad things have happened to tennis in the last 30 years without dragging mysticism in. A man I know who plays the inner game explains it otherwise. It's simple, he says. A, I play tennis better after two martinis. B, science tells us that two martinis reduce your athletic potential, not increase it. C, therefore, Galway is right. And if you get rid of the tension and ego of self one, even by drinking martinis, self two, the great computerized unconscious, will play better tennis than otherwise. Play better tennis, or write better English, or saw boards better, or whatever you do. It's probably a valid idea, except for the martinis. And it should produce healthier-minded tennis players, a group notorious for being dissatisfied with themselves. I should also add to whatever impression you got of Tim Galway, he says that in the process of playing the inner game, it is still perfectly all right to win. Good night. President.